I'm going to tell you the four things you need in your prompts when you're using Microsoft Copilot. I'm also going to give you an example of how all of this fits together. And I'm also going to include some tips to make your experience with Copilot the best. There's timestamps in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get more Copilot and SharePoint tips coming soon. And let's get into it. Number one, you want the goal of what Copilot should be doing for you. Is it generating a document? Is it coming up with a bulleted list? Is it summarizing an email? What is it that you need Copilot to do? Just the plain, simple one sentence is usually going to work fine for this, or even part of a sentence. You want to tell it specific instructions of what it should be returning for you. Number two, the context of why you need this information. What is it you're going to do with this? Is it going into a presentation? Is it going into an email? Are these just data points that you need? This will all frame it for Copilot so that it can prepare the highest quality content for you. The last thing you want is for Copilot to return data that's not really usable and you're going to have to do more work with it on your own just to get this to do what you need it to do. Number three, the source Copilot should use for this information. Is this coming from a particular SharePoint site? Is this coming from your email? Is this coming from the email that came in last week from Joe? What's the source of the content Copilot should use to create this information? Copilot can grab all that because remember, it's using the graph. So it knows all of your information. It knows who you're working with. It knows all of that stuff. And number four, the expected results from Copilot. Are you looking for two to three paragraphs? Are you looking for two to three bullet points? Should this be easy to read? Should this be at a fifth grade reading level to make sure everyone can understand this easily? Those are the things you want to think about and put into your expectation section. This will ensure that Copilot knows how much content to give you and how to kind of format this thing. The end result is that you can take this as is and just use it. You won't need to iterate. That's the goal that you're trying to go after, and this is the best way to get you there. Now, an example of putting all of these into practice would be something like this. Give me four to five bullet points for me to use in a presentation from the Copilot email I sent last week. Make them easy to understand and short. That includes all four of these pieces to give Copilot the information in the context it needs to give me a high quality response. But you're not always going to get a high quality response. It's not always going to be ready to use straight out of the response from Copilot. You're going to have to do some refining sometimes, and that's perfectly fine. What you can do is iterate over that response from Copilot, and you can tell it, make it longer, make it shorter, include more detail, take out some of the detail, iterate over this using Copilot as your assistant and get it to where you need it to be. Now, as you're doing this, Copilot's going to get smarter about what you need it to do. Copilot's got different feedback mechanisms to help train the AI into knowing what was good content, knowing what was bad content. Things like hitting the trash can icon to delete the response because it just wasn't good or leaving it in there and saving that document and Copilot knows it did a good job at that point. The point is over time, it's going to get better and so will you. These are all things that we're gonna have to get better at with prompting Copilot, with iterating with Copilot and leveraging it the best we can to be our assistant, making our jobs easier. Now, if you like this video, make sure to share this with a friend, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more tips and videos on Copilot and everything SharePoint. I'll see you on the next one.